watch it. And I'm smiling because the movie's f***ing nuts. For anyone who doesn't want to waste $12 in a nice afternoon, it's three and a half hours of stock footage and stock photos while a random dude quotes 1800 race science. Crazy to say that this guy is quoting 1800 race science when the vast majority of studies produced in the film are things that are released in the 2000s. Um, people are still doing some of these studies right now, like DNA studies and things like that. I don't even think they understood DNA in the 1800s that didn't exist. And DNA happens to be the like primary foundation for the vast majority of the claims in the film. That's just making that up. I don't know what's going on. There's literally phrenology in it. If you don't know what phrenology is, do you remember in Django where he takes the skull and he's like, the two dimples makes the black man more subservient. That's phrenology. It doesn't use any phrenology at all. Let's go over what phrenology is. Phrenology is the detailed study of the shape and size of the cranium as a supposed indication of character and mental abilities. That was an old pseudoscience that was used back in the day. This thing is depending on forensic anthropology. Forensic anthropology is an actual accepted science that really recognizes that evolutionary biology ends up creating these differences in skull structures. This is something that we accept in our court systems. Forensic anthropology is literally a valid and substantiated science, and it doesn't deal with race, but more so ancestry. To think that forensic anthropology is the exact same as phrenology just shows a complete lack of knowledge about these two sciences. It's crazy to me. There's a point where they claim that indigenous Americans might be the real Jews. They didn't just make the claim that the Americans would be the real Jews. They made the claim that there are, were plenty of evidence of the Israelites being transported around the world to various locations. This is how you end up with Mayans using certain Hebraic words. There's a point at which they claim that Christian, Jewish people, and Muslims all conspired together to hide this from black people. And I shit you not, I shit you not, one of his sources on how black people are the real Jews is Hitler. They literally quote Hitler in the movie as a source. This is probably the most disappointing thing from the film. Um, it's a very spurious claim that like Hitler referred to black people as the real Jews. And I think that that part is absurd because I don't think that that claim was ever made. In fact, to the contrary, Hitler referred to black people as inferior and has as half men, half apes. Anyways, this Hitler claim, it is incredibly spurious. Um, that's not an old claim that people can say, oh, this is something that's existed forever. Everyone's known this. It appeared pretty recently. Um, so it seemed like a completely spurious claim, but what it also includes are the different claims from various like Roman emperors um, in the first century in the third century uh, that made claims that refer to the Israelites as black men, as opposed to like cherry picking the one thing that he has in there, which is the Hitler claim, which I totally disagree with. I think it's completely false. Um, we can look at all these other ones, which do indicate it seems like at one point that the Israelites were generally considered to be black men. The media isn't interviewing Ronald Don Jr. because the man is fucking nuts. Yeah, I think if you're going to look at a three and a half hour documentary and find a single case, like one thing that's probably not true, and then try to dismiss the person who made the documentary, that seems like some cherry picking and some ridiculousness. And no one is debunking it because it's pure BS from start to finish and anyone should be able to recognize that. I am concerned for black people. I am concerned for the state of this nation's media literacy. To say that you're concerned for the state of this nation's media literacy while not being able to distinguish the difference between phrenology and forensic anthropology is wild to me. These are incredibly different science. And of all the things that you want to like debate, like that's the one thing that we know, hey, even if I disagree with this man on everything, even if I disagree with his final claim, forensic anthropology, we know is a real science. Like we, we know that we can say, hey, these people came from this area. But that's how we track life backwards in order to be able to say life began on Africa. I am concerned for black people. And even more so, I'm concerned for people who are willing to dismiss something that they clearly know nothing about. It's so hard for people to admit that they just don't know. Look up forensic anthropology. What are you talking about? But it seems like this guy knows music. I mean, obviously you can see I do too. Maybe one of these days we'll collab on some music or something, but you gotta leave this kind of stuff alone because it's clearly out of his depth.